Okay, uh, this video is just going to show you how to undervolt um, a 30 series graphics card. I'm pretty certain you could do the same thing on like a 20 or like a 1080. Um, like really the 10, 20, and 30 series, I think you can do this. Um, so I have MSI Afterburner here, and this is completely standard. I've deleted my existing profile. So first thing I usually recommend is just bump your power limit and your temp limit up to the maximum. Um, you can, if you want, because we're basically going to um, limit it with the, um, the undervolting, you could, in conjunction with that, lower your power limit also, but I usually just leave that maxed out. Um, I don't really feel like you need to toy with it otherwise. And you'll have to excuse my voice. It's a little bit scratchy at the moment, but um, I will show you everything on how it's done here. So the first thing I usually do is just enable customized fan curve. Um, and actually this had my existing fan curve, but um, I just do two points. Um, I think the default has like maybe five or six points and you can just select any of them and hit delete on your keyboard and it will delete any of the points that are um, that you don't need but I have it set so the bottom of the curve is at 30 Celsius and also at 30% fan speed because uh, this card that's what the dotted lines there like they won't let me set it below 30 so um, and that's different per card so some people some cards allow you to go all the way to zero and it will just turn off the fans um and i think mine does turn off the fans if i do not use the customized mode but i don't know why they won't let you go lower but um you can do 30 as your minimum or lower depending upon your card and then I have it ramped up. So 91 is the temp limit on the card. And I have this set to go to 100% fan speed at 90 Celsius. And you hit apply, hit OK. The next thing you'll want to do is go to the core clock curve, which is this little, um, like the cell phone bar looking icon that's right here. You click that. And I already made this bigger, but I'll, I'll make it a tiny bit bigger just so you can see. And actually, I'm going to need that also. So I'll just move them side by side. So this graph or curve um, has two axes. You have uh, your frequency on the left side here going uh, vertical. And then the horizontal is your voltage. And it's listed in millivolts. Um, it's also listed here in millivolts, but like on the on-screen display, um, they list it in volts. So that is a little bit different. So you, you'll see that when I go into a game. But what you want to do, and I found kind of the sweet spot as far as not sacrificing performance, but you know, cutting your power usage, is to target somewhere between um, 900 millivolt to 950 millivolt. I know some people go lower, like 800 or even lower than that. Um, I mean, it's not a massive drop off in performance, but like it would basically take you down to close to like it would take my card down close to a 3070 Ti. And it's like, why would I want to drop it down that much um, where I'm in like spinning distance to the next card down? So um, I usually do 925 millivolt. And what you want to do with on this window is I set like a positive offset. Um, I'm going to do I'm going to do 75, and that's going to vary per card. Um, my card's factory overclocked, so I already kind of found that going much above 100 megahertz um, offset will cause crashes. So I do 75 to be safe. Um, and if, if your card is not factory overclocked, like it's, if it's a NVIDIA FE model, or if it's like, uh, another, um, AIB card, that's not, uh, already overclocked, um, you could probably do 175 or maybe even a little bit more than that. It just really depends on the card and it would just require testing. So you just have to 
I mean, you could start at 75, try it, and if it's fine, you could you know, go up to 100 and see if you're fine. Um, if you get crashes, then you go back or higher. You know, it just takes a little bit of experimentation. And you'll want to select 925 here and hold shift on your keyboard. And you'll want to click and drag. Um, so you're selecting that, that, that point here, 920, 925, and then going all the way to 1250. And then you'll hit, um, or hold shift, hit enter. And that will um, open this little input box here, and you can hit enter again. And that will set um, basically everything from 925 and above is set to 1935 megahertz. And you can hit apply, and you can close this. And I'm also going to bump my memory up a little bit. Um, I already know. I'm just. Most people, like you can usually do like 500 um, pretty safely on most cards. I'm just going to do 350 um, and then save my setting to profile one. And this button here applies um, whatever settings you configure um, when the program starts up. So it's set to apply that um, on boot up basically. And I'm going to go into game really quick here and just show kind of what happens as far as um, the clock frequency changes and whatnot. And I'm going to turn down the volume on the continue. So you can see um, on the top left there, on the top line is the GPU usage followed by the frequency. So we're pretty much stuck right at 1935 megahertz and somewhere around 300 watts of power. Stunning. We made it, Dad. And um, yeah, so I mean, it, 1935 would be your maximum. Um, it might drop a little bit lower. I mean, that's normal. And if you wanted to, you could even go lower than that. Let me... I'm just going to tab back to... Where'd it go? There it is. So I'm going to pull this back up. So I'm going to go 100 millivolts lower. I didn't select the, there we go, and hit Alt-Enter again, and that time it dropped down to 1725. Hit Apply. And so now we're sitting at like 1710 megahertz, and it's sitting right around 250 watts. And that's the thing I've noticed. I mean, like, let me just let me just fix this scene, okay? Like, where we're looking right now, we're sitting at right around 105, like, right around 100 to 105 megahertz. I mean, FPS. Um, I'm gonna go back. Oh, I need to. Reset that curve. Yeah, if you go lower, it's going to... Actually, I'll show you the stock card. Okay, so this is the stock card. Um, and you're getting 115, 120 FPS. Um, but you can also see the card is also running at about 
fifteen to four hundred twenty watts. And you can also see um, temperature has climbed up to 66 Celsius and the fan speeds have ramped up as well. So, I mean, when you're sitting at like this high of a power usage, the card is just going to run considerably hotter and be louder. Um, so that's the primary reason for doing this, basically. And, I mean, you do lose a little bit of performance, but... Yeah, let's go back to this here. So you can see, I mean, it's dropped my frequency. Uh, temps have dropped considerably. Power usage is down like almost 100 watts. Um, and yeah, I've lost a tiny bit of performance. I mean, maybe 10 FPS thereabouts. Um, but honestly, it's not entirely noticeable. I mean, even during normal gameplay. So that's about it. Um, please feel free to um, comment, and uh, if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them.